A very special edition of Experience Sessions right here on IndigoMusic.com. I'm Rohit and joining me right now is an independent artist, PK. Welcome to IndigoMusic.com. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, uh, your stage name is, of course, PK. Uh, and I think it comes yeah. from your, your name and your second your your second name surname right so i want to talk about your journey when it when did it all begin when it comes to music uh i've been singing for a really long time but uh the journey with independent music and putting out songs that i've written started with my band uh the ragamuffins which was from 2015 to 2019 right. and then after that um i went solo i started pk and changed my sound a little bit and um, yeah, now I'm here. Fantastic. And you recently performed in Bengaluru at the Echoes of Earth yeah. Festival. How was that experience? Oh, it was lovely. I think uh, right before that, we'd been at NH7. So, yeah. uh, you know, doing two stages like that, that are equally respected, but so different in terms of a vibe. I think Echoes of Earth uh, was just what I needed at that time. It was far away from the noise, but still had its own noise. <laughs> um, it was beautiful. It was the most unique experience I think I've, I've ever had. Absolutely, and uh, we we were the official radio stations, and we enjoyed uh, the event as well at Echoes of Earth. Now let's talk Lovely. about uh, your music. What kind of genre would you put your music in? I started off with rock, pop rock, and right now I think I've kind of gone into pop R and B. Right, and uh, let's talk yeah. about your your accolade you are the winner of uh, asia inc 500 awards for your contribution to the arts and you've also been a two times ted talk speaker now when you received this uh, award what went through your mind i think because i started doing what i do for the community or the art community in hyderabad i started so young um so many people kind of just saw that i was making a huge effort to say something say something meaningful and when i accepted that award i think the only thing going through my mind was this is just the beginning. I have I have so many more things left to do, but I'm grateful that people are seeing what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to accomplish for Hyderabad uh, in the arts. So yeah, fantastic. And now let's talk about your brand new single, uh, your track called Squeaky Clean. What is this all about? Squeaky Clean is my little um, affirmation. So I feel like I'm kind of stepping into a very different. Uh, area of my music journey where my sound has gone very 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 much away from um, just pop pop to kind of this more pop soul R&B kind of sound uh, which I think is just the sound that I resonate with right now because um, I've been singing jazz for so long and I'm just trying to put all of my influences into this sound that I have and also I'm stepping into a chapter of my life where I've just cleared out a lot of rut and muck um, I've just kind of uh, let go of a lot of baggage that I've had over the last year and I'm stepping into this new little area of my life squeaky clean I just want to start off with a clean plate um, and so when you listen to the song and the lyrics it's just you know when the light turns red you gotta take a minute so you know just sometimes just stop reflect think about what you need to let go of and then it says when the light turns yellow rev it up get in it and then when you feel ready again like okay I can Take a deep breath. I've collected myself. I can step into this new chapter, wiki clean, fresh slate, go all in. So that's what the song's about. And I put it out now because, you know, it's the end of the year. And I think a lot of people want to just start over. And I'm I'm starting over with my life right, right now. So, yeah. And the point of it being so kind of based on nostalgia, uh, the connection there is that the last time that I can remember feeling excited about my life or about my future was when I was a child right. and I just want to feel like that again. Fantastic and what's in store in the near future? What's happening in 2023? An album, a new single, what's cooking in the studios? I'm definitely putting out six more singles, that's the plan. Uh, I wanted to put them all on an EP but then I don't think anyone really listens to EPs especially when it's a pressure artist. Uh, so I just kind of want to keep dropping singles and I, because I'm an artist first, you know, I love doing the 360 with every single, I'll do the video, I'll do the merch, I'll do the dialogue. So each project, I have six projects, I would say in 2023. Fantastic. Well, uh, all the best for your, uh, you know, for 2023 and this track as Thank well as Clean. Thank you so much for taking some time out and connecting with me. Have a blast and all the best for your future endeavors. Thank you so much. All right, take it, PK.